Welcome to the Pencil Bob channel. Most of our stories are fiction but based on real events. I hope you enjoy my stories. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification icon so you never miss out. Now on with the story. Introduction Homeowners associations, HOAs, are organizations that manage and maintain common areas and amenities in a neighborhood, such as parks, pools, roads, and security. They also enforce rules and regulations that govern the appearance and behavior of the residents, such as landscaping, parking, noise, and pets. HOAs are supposed to protect the property values and quality of life of the homeowners, but sometimes they can become too powerful and oppressive, abusing their authority and violating the rights of the homeowners. In this video, we will explore some of the ways that HOAs use to control and manipulate the neighborhood, both good and bad, and what homeowners can do to fight back. The good. Some of the tactics that HOAs use to maintain control over the neighborhood are beneficial and reasonable, such as ensuring the smooth operation and enhancement of a community's common areas and amenities requires the diligent collection of dues and fees from homeowners. These financial contributions underpin the upkeep, maintenance, and potential improvement of shared spaces, guaranteeing that the neighborhood remains a pristine, secure, and appealing environment for all residents to relish. By investing in these communal resources, Homeowners actively contribute to cultivating a vibrant and desirable living environment that reflects their collective investment and commitment. Instituting regular meetings and elections within the Homeowners Association HOA, framework serves as a cornerstone for fostering active participation and democratic governance among residents. These gatherings provide invaluable platforms for homeowners to voice their concerns, ideas, and aspirations, ensuring that the HOA's decisions are rooted in the genuine needs and desires of the community. Through the election of board members and officers, homeowners can entrust individuals who genuinely represent their interests and priorities, thereby fostering a culture of transparency, accountability, and responsiveness within the HOA's operations. Transparent and consistent communication lies at the heart of maintaining a cohesive and engaged community within the HOA utilizing various channels such as newsletters, emails, websites, and social media platforms facilitates the dissemination of crucial information regarding policies, decisions, and upcoming events. By keeping homeowners well informed and engaged, the HOA cultivates a sense of belonging and shared responsibility, strengthening bonds within the neighborhood and encouraging active participation in community affairs. Recognizing and rewarding homeowners who demonstrate exemplary compliance with the HOA's regulations and guidelines reinforces a culture of mutual respect and collective responsibility. Through initiatives such as discounts, prizes, public acknowledgement, and organized social gatherings, the HOA incentivizes positive contributions to the community fabric. By celebrating and incentivizing adherence to standards, the HOA fosters a culture of mutual respect and responsibility ensuring that residents take pride in upholding the shared values and expectations that define the neighborhood's character and quality of life. The bad. Some of the tactics that HOAs use to maintain control over the neighborhood are harmful and unfair, such as enforcing punitive measures with disproportionate fines and penalties for even minor infractions of the homeowners associations, HOA. Regulations can engender an atmosphere of apprehension and uncertainty among residents. This heavy-handed approach not only fosters feelings of intimidation but also raises concerns about fairness and equity within the community. Moreover, such practices can inadvertently create a sense of distrust towards the HOA's intentions, as homeowners may perceive these penalties as prioritizing revenue generation over fostering a harmonious living environment. It is imperative for the HOA to strike a balance between upholding rules and regulations while also considering the impact on residents' well-being and sense of security within their own homes. Infringing upon homeowners' personal freedoms and choices, such as dictating the color of their homes, the style of their fences, or the type of pets they may keep, encroaches upon their fundamental property rights and individual autonomy. By imposing rigid aesthetic standards and moral values, the HOA risks stifling the diverse expressions of its residents and imposing a homogenized vision of community living. Respecting homeowners' preferences and allowing for reasonable flexibility within guidelines not only preserves the integrity of personal liberties but also fosters a sense of ownership and pride in one's property and community. Instances of discrimination or harassment based on factors such as race, religion, gender, or sexual orientation represent egregious violations of both ethical principles and legal protections. By denying equal access to amenities, 
ostracizing individuals from community activities, or subjecting them to baseless complaints. The HOA perpetuates systemic inequalities and fosters a toxic environment of exclusion and division. Upholding the principles of fairness and inclusivity not only safeguards residents' civil rights and dignity but also cultivates a culture of respect and unity within the neighborhood, enriching the fabric of community life. The misuse and abuse of HOA power and resources represent a betrayal of trust and an affront to the collective interests of homeowners. Instances of embezzlement, election manipulation, or nepotism not only undermine the credibility and legitimacy of the HOA but also jeopardize the well-being and trust of the community at large. Upholding transparency, accountability, and adherence to established bylaws are essential pillars for maintaining the integrity and effectiveness of the HOA's operations, ensuring that homeowners receive the services and benefits they rightfully deserve without undue influence or exploitation. The illegal Homeowners associations are supposed to make life easier for residents by maintaining common areas, providing amenities, and enforcing rules that protect the value and harmony of the community. However, some HOAs may abuse their power and impose unreasonable or illegal restrictions on homeowners. Here are some of the tactics that HOAs may use that are unenforceable or against the law. Discriminating against protected groups. HOAs cannot enact or enforce rules that violate the Fair Housing Act which prohibits discrimination based on race, color, religion, national origin, sex, disability, or familial status. For example, an HOA cannot ban children from playing outside, deny access to facilities for disabled residents, or charge higher fees for certain ethnic groups. Restricting the use of renewable energy. Many states have laws that protect the right of homeowners to install solar panels, wind turbines, or other devices that generate renewable energy on their property. HOAs cannot prohibit or unreasonably limit the use of such devices, unless they can prove that they pose a safety hazard or a significant aesthetic impact. Interfering with the display of flags or signs. Homeowners have the right to express their opinions or beliefs by displaying flags, signs, or symbols on their property, as long as they do not violate any local, state, or federal laws. HOAs cannot ban or regulate the display of the U.S. flag, political signs, religious symbols, or other forms of expression unless they can show a compelling reason to do so. Harassing or intimidating homeowners. HOAs have the duty to act in good faith and treat all homeowners fairly and respectfully. HOAs cannot engage in harassment, intimidation, or retaliation against homeowners who disagree with them, complain about them, or exercise their rights. Examples of harassment include sending excessive or threatening letters, imposing arbitrary or excessive fines, or interfering with the use or enjoyment of the property. Enacting rules without proper procedure. HOAs are bound by the governing documents of the community, such as the Declaration of Covenants, Conditions, and Restrictions, CC&Rs, the bylaws, and the rules and regulations. HOAs cannot enact or enforce rules that are inconsistent with these documents, or that have not been properly adopted or communicated to the homeowners. Homeowners have the right to review the governing documents, participate in the rule-making process, and challenge any rules that are invalid or unfair. If you live in a community with an HOA, you should be aware of your rights and responsibilities as a homeowner. You should also be vigilant of any HOA tactics that are illegal or unenforceable, and be prepared to fight back if necessary. You can consult a lawyer, file a complaint with the state agency that regulates HOAs, or join forces with other homeowners to challenge the HOA's actions. By cracking the code of HOA tactics, you can protect your property, your freedom, and your peace of mind. The fight. Fortunately, there are some ways that homeowners can fight back against the HOA's tactics, such as becoming well-versed in the intricacies of the homeowners associations, HOA regulations and guidelines as a vital step for residents in fostering a harmonious living environment. By investing time in educating themselves and their neighbors about these rules, Homeowners not only gain a clearer understanding of their rights and responsibilities but also empower themselves to navigate the complexities of community living with confidence and clarity. This knowledge equips homeowners with the tools to make informed decisions about their actions and interactions within the community, fostering a culture of compliance and mutual respect. In instances where homeowners find themselves at odds with the decisions or actions of the HOA, the avenue for challenge and appeal plays a pivotal role in ensuring fairness and accountability. By exercising their right to request a hearing, file a grievance, or pursue mediation, homeowners have the opportunity to present their case, 
voice their concerns, and seek resolution in a constructive manner. This process not only affords homeowners a platform to defend their interests but also underscores the commitment of the HOA to fair and transparent governance, ultimately strengthening trust and cooperation within the community. In situations where disagreements persist and efforts at resolution through established channels prove ineffective, homeowners may choose to mobilize collectively to advocate for change or challenge the HOA's actions through legal means. By forming coalitions, circulating petitions, or pursuing legal recourse, homeowners demonstrate their unity and determination in holding the HOA accountable for its decisions and actions. This collective action sends a powerful message to the HOA, emphasizing the resolve of homeowners to uphold their rights and interests, and underscores the importance of open dialogue and compromise in resolving disputes within the community. Active participation in the governance and administration of the HOA serves as a cornerstone for fostering a culture of transparency, representation, and accountability. By attending HOA meetings, casting votes in elections, or even running for positions on the board, homeowners actively shape the direction and policies of the community. This level of engagement not only ensures that the HOA remains responsive to the needs and preferences of its residents but also empowers homeowners to effect meaningful change from within, thereby fostering a sense of ownership and investment in the collective well-being of the community. Conclusion HOAs are not inherently good or bad, but they can become either depending on how they use their tactics to control the neighborhood. Some of their tactics are beneficial and reasonable, while others are harmful and unfair. Homeowners have the right and the duty to fight back against the HOA's tactics, and to make the HOA work for them, not against them. I would like to thank you for watching the video to the end. To encourage us to make more videos, please like, subscribe, comment, as well as share. Check out this other video if you haven't already.